Hi folks, something a little bit different for you today. Thank you very much for Kasori for sponsoring this video. And we're taking the Kasori Turbo Blaze outside and we're cooking camping styley, Sharon. Ooh, camping styley outside. -y. Let's get going. Right inside. Right, so this is our Kasori Turbo Blaze, Sharon. Yeah which we absolutely love. And one of the reasons why we wanted to bring this one out is because it only weighs six kilograms in weight. Have a pick it up, Chef. It's nice and light, folks, nice and portable. And also the Turbo, turbo Blaze cooks food up to 40% faster. Yes, it does. So that's the reason that we're using this because we'll be powering this today off grid from a power bank. This is rated at 1,725 watts and uh, we've got a 2,400 watt power bank, which we'll be using to power this thing up. And also one of the things is as well, it's a very compact unit as well. Right, so this is the power bank we're using today, folks. This is the 2,400 watt one. Beauty of this is you literally just turn it on. We've got 100% power in this one. So let's just plug it in. Over there. And basically we're now ready to cook with it, Sharon. So we've got a few little things here. We've got one of these um, little meat packs there. Look at that, look. I just bought that, three of these for a tenner, very good value. So first of all, as simple as it is, now we're gonna be using this without putting a liner, liner in. Yeah. We're just gonna go straight in the tray, Harry, yeah? So, out with our pre-packaged meat. All we also need is just a little bag, look, to carry some stuff like some paper in we've got our little cutlery stuffs in there we've got our little temperature probe as well which is handy and we've also got a lovely little set of pinchers there and what we'll do we'll just pick them up and just lay them into the air fryer and this is as simple as it gets folks we have not had to set up any camping stoves or primer stoves or anything like that don't matter how much wind we've got so yeah, basically that's it, shall In we go with that. The drawers in. We're gonna turn the power on. What are we gonna put that on, shall? Uh, we'll go 195, 195 for 15. For 15 minutes. And we will check it halfway through. Yeah, the steak will be done before because it's only thin steak. And start her off. And there we go. We're actually cooking outside now, off grid, using the power bank, powering this lovely little Kasori Turbo Blaze air fryer folks fantastic so the beauty of this air fryer is you've got these different preheats here as you can see at the top there with every different thing it does bake prove warm dry reheat preheat will change the fan speed to accommodate the actual cooking that you're doing and you've also got the turbo mode which is air fry roast grill and frozen those work with the fan speed there on false fan speed so depending on what you're doing depends on what you actually are cooking now, each one of these different presets as well, you can raise and lower the temperature with that sim simple control there. Likewise, you can raise and lower the time between one minute and 24 hours, believe it or not, on this. So cooking at 195 degrees there for 14 minutes, we're actually pulling 1,669 watts from the power bank, which gives us an indicated time of about 59 minutes. So just under an hour's time with this power bank we've got here folks so we'll let that do its thing and we'll come in halfway through and as i said the beauty of this is it's a light little thing you're cooking at the we're cooking on the roadside here folks look we're basically in the middle of nowhere and we've just got a little table set up we could be likewise we could be in the van if it was raining out i'm just trying to set the scene for you or even the back of our car there which you, you can just put this on the back of that worktop there in the car or the boot lid and sharon's getting a bit cold my little grandson just give me a blanket, love it. <laughs> and this is the fun of cooking outdoors, Sharon, isn't it? <laughs> We've got chairs in there as well. Oh yeah. And that's a game changer because we have got primer stoves, we've got cooking gas stoves and all that. And uh, one of the main things that we've found is when you're out in a windy condition, definitely cooking outside, you keep blowing out and the things never get hot enough. So having something like this, which is a dedicated sealed unit, which has got the turbo technology, which means it cooks a lot faster than a normal air fryer, this makes this the right tool for the job. Do you know what, Mike? Also, a lot of these campsites or places won't have barbecues and like fires, so that's ideal. And I'm still getting a roast. 
I can still roast the chicken and potatoes. In actual fact, that's a very good point. You get so many of these laybys even that you can't have a barbecue. You know these barbecues that you buy in a foil pan, a little container that you get from petrol station. You buy them for about two and a half, three pounds where people like to do outside cooking. It's all about open flames. Without there's no open flames. You're cooking in a controlled environment and there's no flames at all. So you shouldn't have any problems at all cooking with these yeah, things anywhere, really. Let's check that steak. Right, let's have a look in there now. Oh, look at this already, people, look. Well, see, that could be done now. Yeah, that's, that's only a little steak. We can take yeah. them out before, then, can't we? But, wow, well, how, how great is this, Sharon? Everything's controlled. It's fantastic. No mess. Eh, no smelly cloves from the fire. Yes, that's another thing as well, Sharon. Yeah, that's a very important thing to me. Yeah. No smelly hair. So the main thing with the Turbo Blaze is it does cook up to 40% faster. We have got another video where we actually show that. We didn't believe it when they first made that claim, but we put it to the test in the video and we found out, yes, it does cook roughly about 40% faster. You also can monitor this as well. If you put it on, you can link up to the V-Sync app, I think it's called, and you can actually monitor your cooking and stop the cooking as well. The only thing you can't do with a V-Sync app is start cooking remotely because I think all air, uh, remote controlled or Wi-Fi controlled air fryers are exactly the same. It's a bit of a safety feature where you can't actually turn things on when you're not near it. That's a safety feature. So we will leave a link below for this actual air fryer uh, down in the description as well. And uh, depending on what time you click on that link, there's probably a discount code on there. So do check out for the discount code by clicking the link below there, folks. Right, so this is literally all we've brought away with us, folks. We've got the air fryer. We've got the uh, power bank and we've also just got a little camping bag there where we just keep our knife, forks and spoons in and the cutlery, all the essentials. <laughs> we don't want the kitchen sink, shall do we? <laughs> Get a bit windy, ain't it? Oh my God. And let's have a little look now at that um, I'm sure that steak. steak. I think the steak done. will cook quicker, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, you can take that steak out, shall There you go. Look at that. Absolutely perfectly done, folks. You want to turn them chops over, shall That's it. There you go. Right, so... They're on at 295, I think, for the last few minutes, shall we? We'll just whack that up. So you can do it on the fly, people, look. You can turn the temp up as well. So we're gonna put that up to 215 for the last eight minutes. Let's see if that changes. And all we've used is 10% of energy on our power bank now. And we've still got 55 minutes left on there. So you can probably cook two meals, like a, a lunch in the afternoon, and maybe an evening meal, and maybe for two days, Sharon. Yeah, easy without, like as I say, being off grid. Because the power is so controlled in this with that DC motor, it's not on full power all the time. And you're actually saving energy with the DC motor technology, which is fantastic, mm. isn't it? Yep. So do you want to have a little cut of that steak? Let's have a look and see what it's done like, Sharon. Cooking with a 240 volt air fryer off grid, Sharon. So you're going to have a little go at that. Go on, see how tender that is. There you go. Tell us what you think of that. Here we go. Yeah, it's cooked. It's like a minute steak, isn't it? Actually, that's really nice. Tender? Yeah, it is. There you go, folks. Little steaks there, all done within minutes. You could even use this in a tent. Now, we don't like an open flame in a tent, and a lot of people moan that you shouldn't yeah. be cooking inside with an open flame. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely take that camping when I go again. And also, can you see the output now? Look, it's gone down, it went down to 14 watts there. The thing with this is, it's not at the full wattage all the time. Because it's temperature controlled, the actual wattage goes up and down, fluctuates, it turns on and off, just like a, a main normal oven does as well. It will drop down again in a minute. There we go, as you can see, it's dropped down to 81, now it's switched off again. So it's oscillating all the time. It's not running full pelt all, all the time. It goes up and down, up and down. It cycles, basically. Right, okay, let's have a little look now. We've got five minutes to go because we did whack the temperature up. Oh, yeah, they're, oh, they're cooking lovely now. Do you want to stick the probe in, shall we? are looking for about 70 to 75, folks, in the middle of that. We're zooming up so far, 61, 65, about 67, 68. They're probably near 70. We'll probably give them another couple of minutes, shall we? Yep. And I think, just to crisp that term, little rind up there. Yep. Just help turning that temperature up a little bit, which you can do on the fly. And if we wanted to add minutes as well, you can just up the minutes, folks, if you wanted to. Right, let's get that on the plate for Sharon. It is Mother's Day coming up, so we've got to look after her. That can go on. We can turn that off now. And as you can see there, we've still got 
over an hour worth of time there. We've got 85 percent, so that one mil took about 15 percent power out of that power bank there. Right, let's get that into Sharon. All right, there you go, baby. So can you good. give that pork a lovely little chase for us? I can. There you go. How is that? Very nice. Bit of the crackling there, Sharon. You like a bit of the old uh, skin and the, the fat, don't you? Mm. In you go. Oh, I can hear that crunching, Sharon. So there you go, folks. That's the Kasori Turbo Blaze Air Fryer. Only six kilograms in weight. It's only 1,725 watts of power, and it's also got the DC motor technology, which means it cooks, cooks a lot quicker and a lot quieter as well. Ideal for any camping trip, outside cooking or any when, sort of anything you, you want to camping. do. Or even in a tent, take it with yep. a tea in a tent with you. I will when we go again. Definitely yeah. take me air fryer. Don't forget to check out the link below, folks, because there might be a discount on via our link down below. So do check that out, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. And thanks very much again, for sorry, for sponsoring this yeah, video. Thank you, Kasori. We'll be in to see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye.